guys, this is Amanda with Snappy New Day Art. Today we're making these really cute um, geode cards. Sorry, I feel like I'm opposite here. Um, they are made with just a couple colors of watercolor, um, pen, and a special ingredient that I'm going to tell you about in, in just a second. So, uh, like I said, I'm Amanda with Snappy New Day Art. And uh, I do paint parties and I make fun art. So that's that's me. Um, so I wanted to show you this really easy uh, watercolor project today because um, I don't know about you, but this summer's been so busy. <laughs> I don't even know where it's going. It's so busy and it's like I feel like, oh, I should have all this time for all this art making. And I really don't. It's kind of crazy. So short quick easy down and dirty art and um we should be done in like 20 minutes or so so and we'll even make probably more than one so um let me show you what we're gonna be working with so um i have oops sorry i have some watercolor paper that i cut up into little cards um you don't have to but i kind of like doing that for um for my scraps um and we're going to use something a little bit different today. This is um, liquid watercolor, which is really exciting. Um, and I have a couple, I actually have quite a few shades, but we're just going to use two today. Um, and we're going to use, of course, water, obviously. And I have these really fun, shimmery, metallic um, watercolors which is are really fun to use and the secret ingredient today is salt believe it or not so we're going to need that later but in the meantime um, I'm going to scoot the camera over to my workspace and um, we'll get started okay so bear with me okay And flip my camera around. Okay, da, da, da. One of these days, guys, it's gonna be easier. But we're getting there. Okay. You guys get to see a little bit more of my workspace today. It's coming along. All right, let me turn on my other light. Yeah, we'll get going. Okay, so we're gonna start with this, all right? Hi, Heidi. Okay, so what we're gonna do, I have my, my jar of water here. Got my watercolors. Okay, um, as I go, if you guys um, have a question or um, want me to use some different colors or whatever, I will be happy to do that. So you just let me know. Um, and also as I go, if you are, um, if you think of something else for me to make this summer, please let me know and I can do that. Okay. So there's my water. Now I'm seeing it like, or you guys can see it like I can see it. Okay, so I'm gonna uh, take my brush, my favorite brush. You guys have seen me use this one before. Uh, it's like imi imitation mongoose hair, I think. Um, so uh, like I said, it's my favorite. It's a round brush, and I think it's like a size six. So if you have any questions about that, I can tell you more later. But, um, so to start with these awesome geodes, so actually, here, let me show you what I was kind of inspired by. Hopefully you don't. So we just redid our whole office space. So now we have all these awesome shelves. I don't know if you saw them behind me a minute ago. Um, and we're like, oh, we have all the shape, shelf space. Now what are we going to do? So we've been kind of filling it with different stuff. And so this huge agate um, book end 
is kind of my inspiration. I've seen people doing these and I just wanted to try it. So I did and it was really easy and really fun. So I thought I'd show you guys. Okay, so I have my brush. It's good and wet. And so kind of like um, last time when we made the cactuses, that's right, uh, I'm going to just wet the paper, but in an area that's like a circle. So hopefully you guys can see, oh yeah, see that it's shimmery? I'm gonna cover that whole area with water. Okay. So it's nice and shimmery and then what's gonna, the reason we, I like to do that is because the color, the liquid watercolor will flow all over that space and you don't have to worry about exactly where it goes. It kind of takes the, the thinking away. It's really fun. Okay, so I have my palette now. Here, let me pull this up a little bit. There, it's better. I have my palette now. It has <laughs> that pink color that we used the other day. Um, I don't think I'm gonna use that today though. And um, this is the purple I'm going to use now. Now, uh, liquid watercolor, I don't know if you guys are very familiar with it or not, but um, it, is, it is really, really fun to use. It's absolutely crammed full of pigment. <laughs> <laughs> it uh, like you just need the absolute teeniest teeniest dot if you thought that that was a tiny bit uh, a, 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 literally just a dot of watercolor will do you and it comes in these um, little dropper bottles which is very helpful so I'm going to put just one literally one dab of this on my palette um, and that will last us for more than this project I promise um, so, so I have my shimmery water. I'm going to add a little bit more because it kind of soaked in. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to just start with a very light shade to cover everywhere I just put that water. Okay. So this is like a very, very base layer of color. And it's kind of coming out like a pretty lilac color. But when we're done, there'll be all kinds of colors in there. When I was a kid, I don't know why, but I really loved rocks. So I think my eye gets drawn to things like that. Now as an adult, it's really funny. Like my parents were um, <laughs> uh, cleaning out our like, childhood closet and I had like this whole stash of rocks that I had bought at um, like the flea market and different stores like that and it had a big label that said, I like rocks so now <laughs> that's the running joke they think is really funny that I like rocks <laughs> makes me uh, it, I don't know it's it's funny but it I uh, I'm like hey I, I do like rocks Okay, so now I'm going to take a little bit, I don't know if you guys saw me, I took a little bit more of that purple pigment, okay, and with uh, my brush, see how it's kind of at a point? I'm going to take that point and go, watch this, this is going to be really cool, I promise, go right around the edge, and that pigment is going to flow, see how it moves? It's so cool. It's going to flow in... Um, into the water that's already there. Liquid watercolor is so fun. I like my tube color, but sometimes when you just want like a really vibrant color on something, liquid watercolor is the way to go. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is I'm just gonna whatever pigment is left on my brush, I'm gonna go in a little bit and make a ring. And it doesn't have to be perfect because if you've seen any of these geode or agate, whatever you wanna call them, rocks at the store or like at a museum or something like that, like everyone absolutely looks different. Okay. 
So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back to the edge of my geode here. So we're going to go back around the edge, but we're going to go around the edge with some of this metallic gold watercolor. It is one of my favorite things. I don't use it a whole, whole lot, but when I do get to, it is a special day. Okay. So I've loaded up my brush. Okay. And I hope it shows up shimmery. I hope you guys can see that. Um, but what we're going to do is we're going to go back over that purple just here and there with this metallic. Oh, I hope you can see that. It's so pretty from where I'm sitting. Uh, this metallic uh, watercolor. You can use metallic ink too if you wanted to, but I'm a fan of the watercolor. I have both. I have so many kinds of ink, watercolor, watercolor pencils, color pencils. <laughs> like I said, we just redid our office space here and uh, I finally have a place to put everything, but really there's still overflow that goes into the basement. <laughs> so you never have enough art supplies, do you? I really don't think so. Um, as I go here, if you guys um, have any questions, just um, pop a question down there in the comments and I'll be happy to answer them now or if I miss it, I, I promise I will um, go back afterwards and answer them. Okay. All right. So you know what? I am going to take some of this pink color and I'm going to add it to the middle. Ooh, that looks good. See, that's what's really cool about these. Like there's no one way to do it. And, um, you can't mess up because like I said, if you've seen one agate stone, you've seen one agate stone. That's, <laughs> there are no two alike. All right. So I'm going to add a little bit more water. I don't want it drying out because our magic ingredient won't work otherwise. Okay. I'm going to go back to my purple. I'm going to make my edge a little bit darker because sometimes it gets a little bit washed out. Okay, that looks so cool. I like it anyway. <laughs> and I think you guys would like to do this too. And honestly, kids could do this and there's really no messing up. Okay, so here's the magic trick. And all I'm gonna do is pour a little bit of kosher salt. And it would probably work with regular salt too, whatever you have. But I'm gonna take a little bit of kosher salt. I'm gonna sprinkle it on the watercolor that's still wet. And what it's gonna do, it's gonna make that crinkly effect. Okay. Okay. Okay, so now to speed up time, if I were a cooking show, I already I would already have one to pull out of the oven. But um, I'm going to grab my handy dandy heat gun and uh, finish drying it really quick. So that is good enough. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a, like another piece of paper here. I'm just going to scrape off or tap off the salt. See how it's coming off. And as you can see, it made this really neat effect. Some of the salt's still sticking. And honestly, that won't 
really come off well until it's super, super dry. But as you can see, it is so cool. I wish I owned one that was actually like that. Okay, so now what I'm gonna do is add my quote that I did on my other one. Oh, you're having trouble hearing me? Uh oh. Well, hopefully you can hear me. Um, I'm going to uh, just take it and it said, I thought it was super cute. Okay, another thing about Amanda at Snappy New Do Day, I really, really like puns. So it says, of course I love you. So I'm gonna write that on the bottom and then we'll be done. We could probably do another one, but I will leave it to you. That's not the pen I want. I'll leave it to you to go and try it yourself, okay? So let's see. Of quartz, I love you. Okay, so this is a little uh, hand lettering hack. I, uh, what I do is wherever I would have gone down, I just make a little bit thicker and then it makes it look like you have made some fancy calligraphy, but you really haven't. Okay, so um, like I said last time, and I don't know if you guys um, watched my last video, I um, I am really excited to maybe start doing some of this watercolor at a paint party. Maybe we'll call them wine and watercolor or something like that. Um, but I think it would be so much fun to get your girlfriends together and sit and chat and make some, I mean, can you imagine making like, I don't know, five or six of these that are like greeting cards? That would be so much fun and you would have something really special to take home. Okay, so I think we're done. Um, if, Like I said, if you guys have any questions, please, please, please feel free to send me a message or a comment or uh, message me about doing a paint party or, um, or anything else. Uh, and, oh, also, if you see something um, as you are, you know, scanning Pinterest this summer and you're like, ooh, I wonder how we do that and you want to see me give it a whirl, I'd be happy to do that. So um, I will talk to you guys later and have a snappy new day. Bye.